My name is Sammy L. Davis, the Medal of Honor recipient. I would like to wish everyone a happy Father's Day, and this is for the sons and daughters. God bless you all. I want you all to remember and to understand that your parents are not forgotten. Because of the wall in Washington, D.C., when we go there and we touch the name, there are so many of us that still have the memories of the face that we're touching. And we want other people to go and do the same thing. So God bless you. Happy Father's Day. I was in Vietnam 67 and 68 with the 9th Infantry Division, which is all we served all the way down in the Delta. The reason why they brought us in was the 9th Infantry Division was doing a big push in, in the southernmost portion of South Vietnam, trying to push the enemy back up across the border. It wasn't until they hit us at two o'clock in the morning that we discovered that there was 1,500 of the enemy. There was only 42 of us kids, and they hit us at two o'clock in the morning. They would come across to the river 150 to 200 at a time, and we were shooting beehive. Do, do you know what beehive is? We were shooting beehive direct fire at them, and it was dark, and when the smoke would lift, well, here be another 150 to 200 coming. And the water was about this deep on most of them. We were set up right on the riverbank and across the river, there, there was 50 to 60 of our men, infantry, that were set up over there. And that's what the enemy hit first was them. When the enemy started coming and blowing everybody up, Gwendell Holloway from Stockton, California, Wendell stood up and waved his boonie hat at me and said, don't shoot, because we've been shooting direct fire. I thought, oh my God, I've been shooting beehive at my guys. Well, I gotta go get them. You know, I gotta, because I could see how many enemy there was. So I went into the water and started making my way across. And when I got to the other side of the river and made my way up the bank, now the enemy was there. I could see the foxhole where I'd last seen Gwendell standing. And when I got up there, there were three men in the foxhole, not just one. Well, Gwendell was shot in the leg, or excuse me, Gwendell was shot in the back. Uh, Jim Deister, he was all blowed up. Uh, and Billy Ray from Texas, he was shot pretty bad. Well, I knew I couldn't carry, I, I knew I couldn't make three trips back and forth. So I asked the one above to give me the strength to carry all three of my brothers at one time. Now I was shot in the back. I, I had beehive. I had 30 beehive in my back, and an AK-47 round on my right thigh, and I'd been burned real bad by by my own howitzer. Uh, but I knew I had to do it. So I loaded the guys on my back. Billy Ray, I put across my shoulders. Just laid him across, and. The other two men I just kind of picked up and started making my way back to, the, to our side of the bank. And when I got to the river, now the enemy seen us and they were doing their best to stop me. Well, Jim Deister still had, he had a, he, I don't know, he had a two clips or three clips. So I was using their M16. And when finally I expended all that ammunition, I was close enough to the river, I just threw the river because that's what the Army taught us, you don't let the enemy take control of your weapon. And I just picked up one of their weapons and every time they'd make their assault wave behind me, well, I would do my job. Uh, finally, I made it to the river and I took one man at a time back across the river. And of course, now my guys could see me doing all this and they were doing the best they could to help support me. But I didn't know that anybody, I didn't know any of us were left alive. I mean, that's how intense the, the battle was. So I finally made it to the river bank and two of my guys came down and picked the wounded, uh, depending on which man I had with me at that time, but they picked him up out of the water and would drag him up to a foxhole and I'd swim back across. Uh, we made it, you know. You don't, my mama, famous lesson that she taught me as a young kid, said, Sammy Lee, you don't lose till you quit trying. And that night, my mom was on my shoulder, and that's what she kept telling me. Well, I gave it a lot of thought, but I, I knew I had to go get them because I knew that's what they would do for me.
after I made it back to my side of the bank the third time and my guys pulled me back up, I passed out, lack, lack of blood. I mean, I was severely wounded and I woke up in the hospital in Camp Zama, Japan. <laughs> what I was able to accomplish that night was not because I was big, bad, and brave. What I was able to accomplish that night was because of the love in my heart for my fellow man. But the, one of the unique things, 2016, one of the three men that I swam across the river for and his wife and I and Dixie, we went back to Vietnam and we got to stand. Jim still had one of the original grid maps and we put those grid maps in our cell phone and we were, we were able to stand in the, the exact spot. It's the best thing I did. And I had wanted to go back for years, but I could, no, we'll do it next year. No, we'll do it next year. Well, finally in 2016, we decided that, well, at mid seventies, if I don't do it now, I probably ain't gonna get the chance to do it. So we, my mom sent me a, a harmonica in Vietnam because she thought I was bored because of the letters that I was writing. I carried the harmonica with me. I played it over and over and over again every night. And I did do a few extra songs besides just Shenandoah. But the guys would tell me that when they can hear Shenandoah, it just brings peace to their heart because I always dedicate it to those that are on the wall. I want to thank you on this virtual Father's Day. God bless each of you. Our job is not yet done. In my opinion, it is so important that they bring the memories of their loved one. Because even sitting out here, if I don't talk about it for a while, so that's why it's important that you keep venting. You keep bringing it out in the sun so the sun can eat the mildew and the moss off of it. And, and keep it alive so that people doesn't forget those that we have lost. It's, it's so important to them that they don't forget. You know, they keep pushing it in the back of their heart, the back of their heart. I want them to remember and to bring it forward so that all, all of America can understand our missing in action, our killed in action. We don't lose till we quit trying. So let us stand up firmly for what each of us believe is right in our hearts and do our job.